Welcome to Cold War. So after about 20 hours gameplay of game time, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and uh, we'll get the game me and out all together. And I'm now prestige one level 30 or something like that. Um, my first and my first like weak impression, I guess you would say. Or I think what I honestly, what I, I really how I feel about the game for real. It's like really. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. So for one, coming from Modern Warfare, it has better maps. It has, it has better maps. You know, maps you can actually move around, and it's not mentally solely meant for camping. Um. You can move in this game. Movement feels not as good as other previous uh, Black Ops games, but movements, whatever. I think Modern Warfare's movement was all was pretty cool. I like their I like the movement in that game. I actually like the tactical sprint. That's pretty really about it about the gameplay coming from Modern Warfare. Um, excuse me. Um. Fucking, they brought back the um the gunsmith thing, which I like. What else? And yes, I. If you know, if you've been around for a while, you know I don't script my shit. Um. Yeah, so give me time to think about this shit. Really, it's not that not a lot compared to other Triarch games. But um, I think that's really about it. Maybe a few things I just can't remember off the bat right now. But, um, really, honestly, to summarize it all up, this game's just a little better than Modern Warfare. And that's not saying much, really. So, but, um, you know, there's things in this game, and I'm not gonna be that dude that's gonna come out and say, oh, I don't like the game because skill-based matchmaking isn't in or like whatever i'm not gonna be that guy like truly if you ask me i don't really care if skill-based matchmaking in the game but i only don't care about it as long as it's just that it's just literally okay you go against people around your skill level and it's not like okay it's not they're not like fucking super you know, it's not it's, as long as it doesn't do what this game does. I don't care if we're going to get people with my skill level, because there's always room for improvement. For real, that's just life in general. It's always you can never be you can never be the max. You can never be max efficient at something. You can always get better at it. Um, but how this game does it is way like just not. I don't like it at all, because this is what I've what well, this is what I've noticed over the week I played this game. Um, well, get it out the way first of all. This is just purely about multiplayer. The really reason, the only, the only thing that we all play, because um, if you go look at my last video, last stream, the five hour one, asking the whole campaign. That campaign was ten out of ten. I think that's the best campaign we've had since Black Ops One. Truthfully. Zombies, um, zombies is great too. Zombies is really fun to play. I mean, I think I have almost just about I just as much amount of time on that than multiplayer. I mean, zombies is a bunch of fun. Like, I am gonna same thing with that campaign. It's ten out of ten. Best zombies since that best zombies is Black Ops Three. But multiplayer, man, I just man, it's all over the place. Like, for instance, if you go, you can go up against um, people with your your skill level. Of course, people there's people who actually are saying they dislike the game because of that, because they say they have to try and they have to camp, whatever. Some people I've seen on, on YouTube, I subscribe, subscribe. They've made videos talking about this, but they're they're. If you ask me, they're fucking excuses and all that shit. Were just piss poor, like. It didn't sound like their excuses was like 
it's not it's so it their their excuses was really when you hear it it's not the game it's really just them and how they fucking play and all that other shit you know that's really just them but you know the, but there are some things i do agree with them on and that's it is that i don't like for instance it takes you about five years and a half to upgrade your guns like regular love regular soldier levels they're all right you know but gun levels bro i'm prestige one level 30 i'm halfway to prestige two and i don't have a gun maxed out yet and be in, in past games you you would have had a, if you were using the gun regularly you would have had a gun maxed out before it probably even left reaching level 50 level 45 something like that you'd have it maxed out by then especially how this game works is basically you can't do camo challenges until you get to a certain like level milestone which i think that's utterly fucking stupid i think bo4 and before did it so much better that's the 100 headshots then you got the other technical challenges you know they did the long shots the adventure medals five bloodthirsty five double kill medals so on and so on i think that shit's so much better it's so much more consistent to take the the, the track rather than all this shit in this game in modern warfare um, like, there's even some challenges where, like, it's so, like, it's confusing. Like, there's one challenge where you gotta kill people while they're taking cover. And the first thing I thought to myself when I saw this challenge is, like, okay, so what does the game count as cover? Like, what, what did they program into the game that, okay, this is cover, this is not. Like, you know, every other challenge on that is it's pretty easy. It's straightforward, straight. It's easy. But that's pretty my whole thing is that they take forever to level up. And that's why, honestly, truthfully, only way you, only way I've been leveling my gun up, guns up recently is just I've been playing zombies. You know? So if anything, I might get Dark Aether camo before actual multiplayer Dark Matter. Which Dark Aether is really just Black Ops 3's Dark Matter, which looks fucking sick. Um... But like for real, let's go base matchmaking. What it what it does, what I've analyzed, what I've seen, what I've noticed is that, um, besides having you go up against people that are way more are trying way more harder than you are, and sweating their ass off way more than they should be, is I've seen the no that because y'all know, like you seen the gameplay right now. I'm moving. I move around the map. I rush. Just whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't sit in one spot more than three seconds. Um, you know, so I feel like what I've noticed is based on me running around the map, like, I noticed that if I do a good one game running around the map, then the next game, I'll have a bunch of people camp. Like, these people, like, I'm talking about, they'll sit up in, like, this little room you see me running out of right there. They'll sit in rooms like that, and they'll just sit there with, like, AUGs, M16s, or, you know, any AR, any, like, AR, like, the XM4, and so on. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's so fucking annoying, really. And it's, like, I've noticed, these are the people I play against. I'm sorry for bumping the mic. Um, these are the people I, I notice I play against after running around playing like I usually do in every other COD, you know, and uh, it just, I noticed this, I'm just like, that makes no fucking sense, like, there's, like, there's, like, and I'm just like, it's me, or there's a lot of fucking people who like to camp in this fucking game, and that's super annoying, but, um, you know, but then that's not, that's not the only thing, is, like the game I do good in, like you'll see, I didn't do the, I didn't do so great in this game, and now you're gonna see, in this game I do a little better, and all that same gun and everything, and like, um, I noticed that when you when the games that you, you do good on, right, I mean your your hit reg is on point, 
you know, your damage, you actually do full damage, all this stuff, you do it all, but then games like, after these games where you, you know, you got after the good game, I'm telling you right now, you actually flinch when they said there's no flinch in this game, you actually flinch, um, your fucking hit reg is half, your damage is half, your rank, all, all that type of shit, half, um, and there's even some points where I'm even playing, especially if you, like, well, if I live streamed last, yesterday, and, uh, I was pretty shit, my aim was off, way off, but, like, this gameplay, like, you'll see, I'm on point, and it may look like, okay, you just really were missing your shots, you, you just, you, your shit, you just missed your shots, but really, the reality, and here's the fucking, oh, I didn't show it, I got, whatever, I, honestly, I just wanted to see what gun he was using, but, um, really, is, you know, is really is because, like, when you aim, I swear to God, and I, I, the, the game will, like, either one of two things. One, will pull your aim back while, like, you're, like, you're tracking him and shit. It will pull your shit back mid-gunfight. Or two, you... You won't get target assist, and that's the shit where it like when it slows down when you aim at somebody, you won't have that. As a matter of fact, I think sometimes it speeds it up. If you ask me, I think it speeds it up sometimes. Not every gunfight, but some gunfights. I'm just like, okay, you know, damn, I know damn well I was on point, and it should slow down. Why the fuck did it not? You know, it's just like this game on like. Gameplay wise, when it comes to aiming and shooting, sometimes it's straight up unplayable for me. Like, sometimes I literally want to delete this game off my Xbox and off my PlayStation. But, no, damn well, I don't. You know? I mean, I'm not going to. That's not how I want to. But sometimes this game is just so fucking. It's like, dog. It's, it's not fun to play. This game is super hard to play. It's super... I don't want to call it sweaty. Because it, 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 honestly, for me, it ain't the sweaty people. It's really not. You know, it's really... I could get fuck less people sweaty. It's the fact... It's the, it's the actual game itself nerfing you. Because it's the one thing they've been doing for years. Or they started doing is... Basically... They, I think they really started this in BO4. Which I love BO4, but I think it's where they really started. And that's it. That is, the more you progress as the player, the more you get better, or the better you are at the game. The, uh, the more nerfs you get, right? Like it comes to like, like, like I said, they'll, they'll do shit to your aim. They'll make other people do do damage on you a little bit more. It's just like it's, it un makes the game just. I think that's probably the, the worst to do. I think that's, uh, and they're doing that with this game, is that basically the, the better you are, or or either the better that the game like gets, like, okay, you improved a little bit. Okay, we're going to bring your shit down a little bit. We're going to nerf you down a bit. Plus, put you against other people. Put you against people that are, you know, what people call sweaty. Really, it's, really what it is is just that those people had some, terrible games before the game that you played them against and really this is their uh, retribution game the game that they, they get their stats back really back pretty much because i've had games where i'm like dude there's no way i'm running through this lobby this easily then the next lobby i'm i'm getting shit on i'm going negative right and that's the other thing too is like that's why i don't like this fast time to kill before i honestly I think it had the best time to kill in the game. Some people say it's slow, but it honestly, you know, it wasn't that slow. Now, if you're going to get somebody in BO4 and they had a body armor with the health boost, I, that's pretty fucking slow. But just regular, you know, 150 health, that game played great. It felt great. You know, it, you know. But after they, they added on the dedicated servers, that game felt way better. Like, now I enjoy that game way more than I ever had. 
And like, um, yeah, dude. Like, there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying BO4 was the greatest COD that ever come out. You know what I'm saying? I know COD, BO4 was probably one of the cheesiest to ever come out, to be honest with you. The most cheesiest. You know, specialists were like out the, f like, were just way overpowered. Still are, to this day. Um, they added DLC weapons, like the VMP and Micro MG, that, which are, I, I, I always rage at, and they're so fucking mindless, like, it's not even funny. Um, I'm just saying, bo 4 has its, excuse me, things that just make it cheesy as hell. But if you look past all that, games are actually pretty solid. Probably the, it, it, the, the best feeling game in the franchise, to me. You know, um, but like, but this game though, I feel like for real to, for me right now, it's really just a, a, a six out of 10 and it, and it, and it makes me, it, oh, I forgot this death, that death I just had was such bullshit. Like I freaked the fuck out when I got killed like that. Um, you know, you like, it's, it, it, it hurts because it hurts because this is a triart game. And Triarch or the studio where they come, they're supposed to come out. And okay, where's a good game out of all this shit? Here's a good game, or a game that's a little bit, a, a bit more funner. This game, they completely, I don't know what happened. You know, people could say, oh, you know, they had, a, they, you know, COVID nineteen was going on, COVID nineteen, you know, they had to work from home and stuff like that. And I understand that. Everybody did. We all had to go through that dumb shit. We had to go. We are had to go through that dumb shit, and we kind of still are. But you know, when it comes to shit like regular time to kill, you know, shit like that, you know, this aim resist shit. I like. I don't know, man. I think that shit right there. They could have fixed that. You know what? They probably could. They probably will fix that. But who the fuck knows? You know, but right now, as we're as the game's out right now and all that shit, it's just this game is not, you know, like honestly, right now, I'm just giving Triarch the benefit of the doubt that they'll come back from this and they'll just make a bomb ass game. And that's the sad part is we're gonna have to wait. If that doesn't happen within the year, then we gotta wait a whole nother year for them to give us. A, f a fun game, and that you know, like that's that shit is. I'm not trying to wait a whole year for the, for a game to get good. I want the game to get at good, at right now, before, you know whatever. Just in case, you know when it, when, when that year comes later, I can have a fuck. I can say something good about it. Right now, that's about it. It's, to, for me, someone who, you know, for anybody like me who's, you know, pretty much good at COD, or got good at COD, it's, this game's a big-ass nerf to all good players, and I know there's people on here that are dropping nukes and shit, but look, those motherfuckers, those are reverse boosters, those people reverse boost, guarantee you, you know what I'm saying, like, Chain Feeds, you know, Korean Savage, all them, those motherfuckers reverse boost, I guarantee you, because regular people like me who was dropping nukes, in fucking BO4, and I say, I only say, I don't, I don't talk about Modern Warfare because I didn't drop, I never even dropped a nuke in Modern Warfare. I almost did. One time, I was on a 25. But it's, you know, Modern Warfare was so bad, it was not made for, it just wasn't good, and it was not, that game was not, was strictly not been made for the rushers and shit like this. This game, it, like I said, this game is just, it's Modern Warfare. But a little better. My fucking shit cut out. But anyways, in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces.